Okay, here's a little something for you. Um, I was just checking out how much power we'd actually have to put into our electromagnet coil to get a decent field across here. Um, as you know, alternators put a DC current in via the slip rings and brushes into this coil. We'll get one field here and the opposite field here. Say like a north and a south, depending on which way we have the polarity. So at the moment, I'm set on 1.7 volts and we are using 587 milliamps. And of course, we have a fairly strong field for that amount of power. Now that's pretty heavy. Problem is, down here, we have nothing. There is no field on any of the bottom fingers, but the top ones have a field. And the bottom ones do not. So, uh, quite interesting, right? It gets even better. I'll take this off, swap the polarity around. To the uh, electromagnet. Now the top ones have absolutely nothing, and the bottom ones have an extremely strong field. And the top ones, like I said, nothing. So, uh, what's exactly going on there? Once again, let's swap the polarity over. So, 70 odd milliamps, top one has a good strong field, and bottom one absolutely nothing. Nothing on any of the bottom fingers anywhere around the machine. Two such time as we swap the polarity over once again. Top ones have absolutely nothing anywhere around the rotor, and the bottom ones have a super strong field. So, uh, let's see how you go answering that one. Now, I know it's not a monopole because the other field has to be in there somewhere, but why isn't it on the fingers where it should be? And we're not physically changing the coil other than reversing the polarity, so uh, all that should do is simply reverse fields on these fingers, but it seems to turn one off, turn the other one on. And I don't know how that can be with a DC electromagnet. Cheers guys.